everybody, my name is Garrison Green, and this is my first video that I'm ever making on this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel's name is Garrison Green, and we'll be updating you on all sports and all the news with sports, and we're going to have a great time over here. My first video is, I'm a little late to this, but this is my divisional rankings and on-playoff rankings for the NFL playoffs. And our first game that we have is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I think this is going to be a kind of one-sided game because I think after the Chiefs, they're just so firepower. That Mahomes and Kelsey duo is so nasty, and they're a great duo. And I think that this Jaguars secondary defense is not going to be able to handle it. I think Mahomes, whenever Lawrence goes down and has a good drive, I think Mahomes is going to answer right back, and they're just going to keep on piling it on. And I think they're going to pile on. And I think the Chiefs are going to win this game. Let's say 33 to 13. Okay, the next game is the Buffalo Bills versus the Cincinnati Bengals. This is probably going to be the best game of the weekend. I am so excited to watch this game. Two high power offenses, two high power defenses. It's going to be so fun to watch. And I think I'm going to look at this two ways. The Bills, all their great offense, great defense. But their backstory with the Tamar Hamlin playing for him, this is they're gonna play for their brother, for their teammate, and I think that the Bills are gonna be really good this game. But I also think the Bengals are gonna be really good. But one thing that I saw last weekend, both these teams did not have near close games that they could actually play. Like I think the Bills, they should have absolutely gone off against the Dolphins. The Bengals should have crushed the Ravens. They were both close games, but they still edged out with a win, so it's the same thing of crushing them. They still got through to the same way. So I think that it's going to be very high scoring, and they're going to need to rely on those small things. Small things, small mistakes are going to stick out in this game. It's going to, there's, we're going to go look back on Monday, and we're going to look at one, there are a few plays that each team could have had that could have changed this game. But I think. That the Bills are gonna hang on. I think they're gonna do beat this beat the Bengals. And I think that it's gonna be a great game, but I think the Bills will move on. Say 31 to 27. Bills. Okay, next game is the Philadelphia Eagles, the one seed. One seed for the NFC. They're just gonna crush everyone. Yeah, right? That's what everyone thinks. Then the Giants come and upset the Vikings. Everyone was like, hold up. Is Daniel Jones legit? Is he legit? Running for 75, over 75 yards and throwing for over 300. Not a lot of quick quarterbacks have done that, but I think Jalen Hurts can do that. Because Jalen Hurts, he's been playing great this season. This is going to be a very good game. And I think the Giants defense is going to need to play even better than they did against the Vikings. They played pretty good against the Vikings. But I think that they're going to have to really go off against this Eagles offense. This Eagles offense is insane. Jalen Hurts, great. A.J. Brown, I love A.J. Brown. He was on my fantasy team this year. Loved it. And I think this Eagles defense with that O-line, I think they're going to stop all these rushers from the Giants. I think that the Eagles are going to pull away with this game. But I think the Giants are going to keep it close, like the Seahawks did with the Niners for like a half. But I don't think it's going to blow open like the Niners did with the Seahawks. I think the final score of this game it's going to be 30 to 17 Eagles. Next game, the final game, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, if the channel keeps going, you know I'm not a huge fan of the Cowboys. I I'm a fan of that. Like I I don't I'm not super mad with them, but I they're not my favorite team. But but then they're going to go up against one of my favorite teams, the San Francisco 49ers. I love the Niners. I love how they play. Their defense, I had their defensive fantasy. It was great. And their defense is loaded with talent. They they can stop a high-scoring offense instantly with a snap. But this Cowboys offense, oh, we were questioning them so hard after week 18. They go into Tampa Bay and silence that crowd as the five seed playing up against the four seed. I know the Bucks struggled this year, but the Cowboys, that was a statement game. Statement game for their defense and for their offense. The thing that I'm thinking about this game is with Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey is absolutely good. He's amazing. And I still think he will get over 75 yards this game. But Micah Parsons is on the other side of that football. And I think he will be attacking Christian McCaffrey this game. 
But do I think that's going to stop Christian McCaffrey? Maybe a few times Micah Parsons will get to him. But I think Christian McCaffrey's still going to have a big game. Brock Purdy, this is his big statement game. Yes, they played the Seahawks. They beat the Seahawks. He played great. This is a big game. Big playoff game, divisional round. They're still at home. So Purdy doesn't have to play against all those rowdy fans. So I think that the Niners are going to barely outlast the Cowboys. I said barely. I think the Cowboys are going to actually shock people. I think this is going to be a defensive slugfest. I actually think the Niners' defense and the Cowboys are going to do very good. Their defenses are going to do pretty good. Their offense is going to do pretty good. But I think all the receivers are going to kind of be tame. I think that, like, George Kittle and Dalton Schultz are going to have big games for their tight ends. And I think this final score, 23-17 Niners. As you guys might have noticed... I am wearing Justin Herbert gear and my Chargers hat. I Yes, I am a Chargers fan. I live here in San Diego. And, yeah, I've been a Chargers fan my whole life. You can see the Chargers logo over there. San Diego Potters logo over there. We'll get in the baseball later in the year when it all comes around. And you can see I'm a fan of Notre Dame. It's kind of just like a quick halftime of the video. And you can notice that I'm wearing Chargers stuff, but... I can't talk about them this week. 27 to nothing. It's fine. It was good. I was... It's fine. They had a great season. They had a great season. And it was really good. But the Jaguars nearly got by us. But we can see the Jaguars are now out. The, the Chiefs beat them in my predictions. But I think we will be back. I, I'm sounding like a Cowboys fan next year is our year. But I actually think that my next year might actually be the year. And this boy is going to be top three in the MVP voting. I said it. I said it. Top three or MVP. He is going to go off. But it looks like we're not firing Brandon Seeley. Okay. I, Brandon Seeley, you got one more year left in the tank. You got to prove us one thing. Okay. Just don't blow 27 to nothing, please. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this video. And I'm very glad to, I'm very excited to start this channel. I'm very excited to get it up and going. And you can see green in my school. We do this thing where green is the color of happiness. So take that as all the green. Stay happy. Green out.